Hello everyone, Photo Tristan here. I would like to do a review of some boots that I got, as you see right here in front of me. These are the Alden Indie Boot Model 403. And uh, let me first say that why they're sometimes referred to as the Indie Boot. Uh, the story is Harrison Ford actually wore these as Indiana Jones uh, in, the, in the Indiana Jones movies. But uh, he actually wore these boots prior to um, you know, being a big movie star when he was a carpenter. And they were his boots of choice because they were so comfortable, uh, so durable and rugged, and also had you know great style, I assume. And uh, you know I think he has good taste because these are actually <laughs> quite good you know boots. So when it came time for him to be cast, you know in Indiana Jones and everything, the costume designer approached him with uh, you know several different models of boots uh, from you know Red Wings and stuff like that and different manufacturers. And he said, nope, uh, I'm rejecting all of these. I'm wearing my own boots, the Alden 405 model. So, uh, you know, that's what he had. The original one was the Alden 405. Since then, there have been subsequent models, um, such as this one, the Alden 403. And I think there's also a 404, which is more of a black industrial work boot with a different sole on it. But it's some sort of unfortunate that it nowadays is sometimes referred to as the indie boot because the Alden uh, company has been in business, uh, you know, for many, many years. It really predates the Indiana Jones movies. In fact, Alden has been in business uh, making shoes uh, in America here f since like 1848, I think. You know, they are quite an established company and they've been making shoes here in America for all these years and they make really, really good shoes. Very, um, you know, artisan craftsman type shoes. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are just uh, put together, most of them are all put together, you know, by hand for the most part. And then, you know, of course they use machinery as well, but like the stitching of stuff is, you know, all done by hand. So again, the quality is really top notch. A lot of people consider Alden to be one of the, the top uh, shoe manufacturers in the world. And I consider them to be certainly the top shoe manufacturer for men's shoes in the country. Uh, they have quite a following also around the world as well in other countries. So. You know, I did a lot of research and, you know, I, my personal style has always been sort of an industrial work style in terms of my clothing that I like to wear. I have found, you know, in general in looking at boots, especially a lot of the high-end boots, they all tend to look a little bit the same. You know, you can't tell whether it's an expensive boot or a cheap boot when you see, you know, somebody wearing them. But that's not the case with these Alden Indie boots. These are very distinctive looking and they don't look just all the same. And that's primarily due to the fact that it has this sort of white moccasin-like stitching on the, on the top of it. It has a you know, unique look to it with uh, the sides and the sole and the stitching. You'll notice that the welting doesn't go all the way around to the heel. So that's another thing to take note of. So yeah, I think it's a neat looking boot. Very distinctive looking and unique. And I think that some people don't like the white stitching. I think that it looks really nice, but some people don't like it. If you don't like it, you can certainly cover over the white stitching with some shoe polish and that'll dye it. You know, so it'll still look quite distinctive, but it just won't have uh, the white stitching on there. So, you know, that's an option. So as I mentioned, the 405 model was the original model and that uh, has a slightly different coloring. Uh, as you can see, this is, these are sort of a dark brown. The 405 is more of a sort of a tan color. So, you know, this has a slightly different leather, the four, this is the Alden 403, and slightly different leather, it's a process, the leather on, on this shoe is a process called, I think it's Chromacell, I think that's how you, how you pronounce it. It's just a different process and um, it's a little bit of a waxy leather as opposed to the other kind of leather which is not quite as waxy. I don't want to say that this is greasy, it's not that kind of a boot, but it's slightly waxy. And so yeah, that's this, this is uh, the ones that I chose just because I like the coloring, the dark color. It's a little bit darker than the original Alden 405. I fully intend to just wear the heck out of these and you know, in several years they're going to be probably my favorite pair of boots. I'll probably do another video in a few years as a follow-up, you know, update. But um, you know, I fully anticipate these to wear out, you know, to wear down, to break in, to look distressed, to look vintage and stuff like that uh, over the course of, uh, you know, several years as I wear them. Um, that's really what makes you know a pair of boots uniquely yours actually so you know don't be afraid to get them dirty don't be afraid to use them don't be afraid to wear them you know what i mean and eventually they're just going to be your favorite pair of, of boots you know uh, in terms of caring for boots like these um, if you want to preserve the white stitching you do have to be careful when using shoe polish if you don't want the, the white stitching to you know get dyed because shoe polish will definitely dye the stitching so you can use shoe polish very carefully and just avoid, you know, the uh, the stitching, 
Um, another option that you can use, you can do is you can get a neutral boot, you know, cream. So this is an Alden, it's called Alden Fine Boot Cream, and it's just a clear uh, color, and that will preserve the leather, and you can go over the stitching and stuff, and it's not going to, you know, affect the color and stuff. So, uh, you know, there are other manufacturers of uh, neutral boot creams. I think another one is called Venetian Shoe Leather Cream or something like that, uh, which is apparently also very good, uh, and that's also a neutral clear boot cream. So that's you know what was rec to, recommended to me in terms of caring for these, um, and you know maybe twice a year or something you want to you want to clean them and then uh, go over them with uh, with uh, you know some boot cream and then um, you know just wipe them down or use a uh, a shoe brush like this um, while with the cream on it and then just brush them and then wipe them. And that's pretty much all you have to do uh, in terms of uh, you know keeping these top notch. Let me just talk a little bit about the quality. Um, I've already mentioned it has the, I think I mentioned it has the Goodyear welts, welting, you know, to attach the sole to the shoe. That's very important uh, on a high quality shoe. Shoes that are glued and don't have the welt are not as good quality and will not last as long. Uh, this has full leather uppers and leather lining inside, which is very high quality and very comfortable. These is, you know, even though these are brand new, when I put them on, they don't feel like brand new shoes. They're just uh, very soft and supple and just comfortable. I think the sole is embedded with neoprene and cork for comfort and long lastability as well. And as you can see, you know, the heel is also has a black uh, piece to it, which is, I think, very distinctive. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say about these boots. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions or comments or would like to add to the discussion, please leave a comment below. Uh, I'm sure I and others would be very uh, interested to hear uh, your comments. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye.